the Aida Kalacho. Princess Elka. Let's do this one. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Da war es Madame Butterfly. Vocalizing with Madame Butterfly. I don't know. Again, it was one moment I was distracted. I thought it was late. Like I said, I cannot hear the recordings when I sing. So I sort of kind of catch up in between the phrases. Again, hi, sweet Princess Silke. So that's what I was telling you in the previous video about Sergio and Leonor. Sergio came to my house and I was listening to him, paying attention. No mindless chatter. It says only talk to catch anybody's attention. I kind of keep to myself. And when someone talks to me, I pay attention and I listen. Once Pavarotti and I we went to their house in the middle of the day or so. No, we were invited. And we were sitting on that tiny table and they were drinking cocktails. I looked at it, it was completely disturbing. But they felt disturbed too to us. Like they were exhausted. And I looked at it, I mean, they drank like... Well, you couldn't really see what it was. Although I think it was like, you know, it could have been something else too. But the issue is they never offered anything. I mean, not that I wanted to drink in the middle of the day. It seems like they were completely disconnected from reality. I do not know, was it two o'clock in the afternoon? But it looked to me like they do that every day. Yeah, the first, the first cocktail of the day. I mean, how can you how can you drink that and not not offer your guests? Again, I, I would not have accepted it because I, I <laughs> cocktails I don't even drink that. But how can you be like so disconnected? Sergio noticed. Look, I think the one the one day in a year I drink wine is at their house, the Christmas celebration. But when Sergio came to our house. There was never alcohol involved. Well, we did not have alcohol, we didn't drink alcohol. We never offered them a drink or anything, and there was no bar. I mean, there was a bar with glasses, but there were no bottles. We don't have that, we don't use them. It was a completely different lifestyle. My house always clean and always neat. There is no clutter around like in her house. Little I knew the stunts she pulled out. I don't remember if it was that very day, but there was a day where like, on a weekend maybe? And suddenly it was about all the kids getting French toast. It seemed normal, although weird. So they eat French toast in, uh, in America? <laughs> because I think they lived already, I'm not sure. So in a long table, all the kids had to eat French toast. The issue is in Mexico, that's not really something people do. Leonor was pulling that out to impress me, I hear in the field. What? I learned how to make French toast though, as I looked what they were doing there. No, I just thought about how they were serving them. Why would she want to impress me? When she said that with the school, oh, this is the best school, the best school, it sounded so... so of an attachment. I felt like it revolved my stomach. Just the way she was like empathetic, empathetic about it. Unsolicited and unrequited information she was giving out to a bunch of people who had no clue why. Who were not interested in school or anything because they had no children. And another time when she was doing that, oh Miguelito, Miguelito, one of her seven pregnancies, it didn't work out. And she called him Miguel, because of Don Miguel Zacarias. Harsh looking Don Miguel Zacarias, giving him an ear. But the way she lamented about the dead Miguelito, I thought, what the heck? I felt so exaggerated. But the notice was only that she said, oh yes, I did give birth to a Miguel. Haha, <laughs> and lero lero. I'm the big bitch. That's what she actually was saying. Which of course eventually said she started looking how ridiculous that all was. Because the heir is the first son of the first son and the first son of the first son. So, Miguel, that was my turn. I bore the Miguel, but my Miguel was not named Miguel because I'm not an asshole. The fourth Miguel in a generation, I looked at, you know, at the other two, and it was hard enough for them to catch up with that Don Miguel Zacarias. 
No, my Miguel was named a different name. And that is what Sergio noticed. Wait, Zilko is not presumptuous. <laughs> 